in this video we are going to see about carving of maxillary first molar armamentarium required wax block steel ruler lecron carver marking pencil polishing Dividing the wax block as crown, root and base. Crown measures about 7.5 mm and root measures about 13 mm. It has buccal, palatal, mesial and distal surface. Buccal and palatal are always parallel to each other. Similarly, mesial and distal are always parallel to each other. Drawing a midline from root to the crown and dividing the crown into three equal halves dividing crown root and base drawing a midline dividing the wax block from throw the entire block now dividing the crown into three halves occlusal third middle third and cervical third repeating it all on the all the other surfaces from the mesial distal aspect the maximum point of contact in the buccal aspect is in the junction between the middle and cervical one third of the crown as well the maximum point of contact in the palatal surface is in the middle one third of the crown to obtain the point of contact on both the side, we should reduce on the occlusal and cervical third of the crown. To obtain the convexity, reducing on the occlusal third of the mesial and distal aspects. Now repeating the same on the other side. From the buccopalatal aspect, reducing the occlusal third of the mesial and distal surfaces. Similarly, we replicate this pattern on the mesial and distal surface of the vas block as shown in the video. The first largest cusp is the mesiopalatal and mesiobuccal, distobuccal and distopalatal in a clockwise direction followed by cusp of caraboli. Dividing the occlusal table into buccal and palatal portion. Carving of four major cusps with their inclined planes and triangular ridges. Mesiopalatal, mesiobuccal, distobuccal, and distopalatal. Since mesiopalatal is the largest cusp, it occupies more place. Below the mesiopalatal, there will be a cusp of caraboli. There are two ridges, transverse ridge and oblique ridge. The transverse ridge runs from the mesiobuccal cusp ridge to the mesiopalatal cusp ridge and the oblique ridge runs from the distobuccal cusp ridge to the mesiopalatal triangular ridge. which dully forms the V-shape on the occlusal surface. Carving of four major cusps with their inclined planes and triangular ridges. This is done by giving them obliquely directed strokes on either side of each cusp tips using the end of the carver's knife shaped working end as shown in the video.
repeating the same for all other three cusps. Carving the oblique ridge by merging the distal cusp ridge of mesiopaltal cusp and triangular ridge of the distobuccal cusp. The red dot indicates the distal, central and mesial pits. Yellow line indicates the buccal groove and blue line indicates the palatal groove. From the right side, the red line indicates the mesial ridge, triangular fossa and the oblique ridge, triangular fossa and the distal ridge. Dividing the wax block into two equal halves from the cervical to the apex, the buccal aspect has the two roots and the palatal aspect has the one row. Draw a single root on the palatal aspect and two roots on the mesial, distal and buccal aspects. Two buccal roots measures about 12 mm and one palatal root measures about 13 mm. Root trunk extends apically from the cemento enamel junction and ends in the roof of the furcation where the root separates. Obtaining the two roots on the buccal aspect and one root on the palatal aspect which is conical in shape. Carving the cusp of carabelle on the mesiopalatal aspect. Finishing the carving with the cervical line marking and rounding all the line angles. This is the final look of carving of maxillary first molar. Thank you for watching this video.